Welcome back, guys. So, we're going to take a look in to see how the karmic feels about the divine feminine. Let's see what's going on. We're going to clear this energy from this last read. Y'all need to go check out that last, the last couple of readings that I did. It's like, what? Yeah. It's, it's getting real. Ooh. It's getting real. Real in the film. So, let's see what this Carmen got to say this time. Let's see what type of time she on this time. I think we're going to start off with the... Uh, let's start off with the Kipper Dick. You know what? No, let's start off with the... Um, yeah, we're going to start off with the Kipper. Let's start off with the Kipper. Let's see. How does this Carmen feel about... Um, how does karmic feel about the divine feminine? How does karmic feel about the divine feminine? So we got courtship and wealthy man right here. Okay. So she feels like she feels like you could have did the work on masculine. You helped masculine become a better man, but not for you. For her connection, her courtship with him. These are her thoughts. Mm -hmm. And it looks like the masculine switched out because we got family room, change, and house. Yep. I'm hearing that. Some of y'all feminines, y'all were the bread the breadwinner in the connection when you were dealing with this masculine. We got concern and poverty. So it's like and judification. Judication. This is saying like, oh, you was judging him when he ain't have nothing. We got poverty and judication here. And then we got privileged lady and marriage. Some of y'all could have been married to this person or y'all were together for a long time. Um, but I'm feeling like you could have been divine feminist. Y'all could have been the breadwinner in this connection or y'all kept everything together. Y'all dealt, y'all had a lot to do with uh, the finances. Somebody's mother or grandmother or aunt could have got involved. We got mature woman right here. And it looks like this this masculine's money. We got lovers and the main female. This masculine definitely loves you. This masculine definitely has love for you. But this masculine's money, it looks like he's, he's not having the best luck when it comes to his money. Okay, so this garment feels like you built this this masculine up specifically for her. She's saying thank you, thank you, thank you for building them up for me. Okay. Anyway, what else? How does this garment feel about the vibe Yeah, she feels like the, that relationship is over, okay? And she's glad it's over. We got the Grim Reaper. The relationship is over. No second chances. Grow and transform your life, okay? So the Grim Reaper is saying just that she feels like y'all relationship is over. She has this time to evolve her next, her relationship with him to the next level, okay? So she feels like uh, her and masculine's relationship is, is blossoming, She feels like you're trying to heal from a broken heart. I see that as well, too. She says that you had a choice, though. She said it was your choice. Because we got hand of cards and wedding rings and the snake and heartbroken and healing heart. 
So she said you had a choice. So what else? How does this karmic feel about the divine feminine? We got the dragonfly. So we got um, be lighthearted, finding out things, coming to light, adapting, change, and healing. So she feels like you are, you know, you're healing. You're adapting to the situation being over, okay? She feels like you're adapting, like you're coming to terms that this connection has ended, okay? And what else? How does this comment feel about divine feminine? Yeah, she said, look, y'all was separated. Some of y'all definitely see like a marriage because we got palm tree. Y'all either were living together, were together for a long time, or there could have been a marriage. But I'm getting separated and I'm hearing somebody's time was up. I'm hearing that that time expired, okay? Maybe y'all needed space, y'all needed time to heal, or just time was up. And this connection is just like the time ran out. Like it was like time was a factor. I'm seeing this could have went on on the internet, okay, because we got sunglasses and the Venus. This is like the page of swords in the world. So this went on online, okay. This could have been put out all over online that you and this person, y'all's situation was over, okay. Then here comes their love story. Okay, we got love and coffee cup. Here's their love story about how they met. All of a sudden, it came out about how they met, how they hooked up, and they're just soulmates. Okay, when people just taking the talk and running with it, we got girl talk and runner. Like, we got people just gossiping. I'm getting a lot of gossiping going on, a lot of gossip, a lot of he say, she say. So it could have been a question of when did y'all separate? Because I heard that they wasn't really separated. I heard that they were still together and and she came in and she took them and it was it's a lot of he say she say going on. How does this karmic feel? How does this karmic feel about the bottom of How does this karmic feel? She feels like you're heartbroken and you need to go heal. Okay, we got a heartbroken and healing heart. Okay, so she feels like you need to get over it. The relationship is over. She is now with this masculine. Y'all were separated during the time that they, that they got together. So it's fair game. Okay. It's fair game. Fair game. Got kisses. She is unconditionally in love with this masculine. Okay, um, she has gained some type of clarity. Okay, she's trying to gain some type of clarity here, find out the truth. Um, she feels like you wear a mask a lot, so she's doing a lot of research on you. Um, she's possibly trying to see who you were dealing with, or if you were dealing with someone else, trying to get the tea on you all about you and masculine. When the last time you and masculine had a connection together, when y'all were actually sexually together, and then we got seduction and karmic relationships. So she was definitely a third party. She was a third party. It was a hookup situation that ended up evolving. So she's, like I said, she feels like that relationship is over. You need to heal and get over it. She's with masculine now. All right, tell me more. this Carmen feel about divine feminine how does this Carmen feel about divine feminine peace yeah she said she completes this masculine she said that you weren't enough for this masculine she want him fair and square she would say she won him fair and square. She accepted an offer. So masculine could have came to her with an offer and she accepted it. 
So she says she look, it's it's fair game. She said you lost them. I picked them up. You threw them in the trash. She not sure how you really feel. She's kind of like just listening to others' opinions. Um, what? Well, tell me why the Page of Pentacles is here. She does want to, she wants to communicate with you. She wants to know what happened. She wants to know why was this masculine not enough or why weren't you? She wants to know, like, get details. Why is the fool here? Okay, she want to call you, but she don't want to take that risk. She want to reach out to you, so she may already have your information, already have your number, could have already went through Masculine's phone, and she could already have, like, your information, especially if it's social media-wise. She could want to reach out to you via message. She don't Nowadays, you don't even have to pick up the phone and call nobody. You can go to their social media, uh, go to their Snapchat, go to Instagram, whatever, and send them a DM. Okay, she wants to, but she don't want to take that risk. Every time she think about y'all's relationship, she just wonder if it's true or not. Um, what's being said. So she's uncertain about whether or not something that happens to her or something that she heard is true. Yeah, she's hoping that you can give them some type of clarity on on this masculine. She wants to get married to this masculine one day. She's hoping that they get married. And she's sitting here spying on you, especially if you're a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. She's definitely spying on you. I'm saying, like, to see if you actually moved on. Are you completely done? She's spying to see or if you're trying to double back. She's trying to see if you're trying to double back. She's trying to see if you're trying to double back or not. So she's keeping an eye on you because she's hoping to get married to him. She wants to get married. Yep. The challenge is whether or not somebody is telling the truth. What is the Ace of Swords? What is this truth? What is this truth? Okay, about how something ended, how it ended. So she's not sure about the final ending, how it all went down. She's not sure if everything's not clear to her. But I'm hearing somebody didn't have a choice. Somebody felt like they didn't have a choice. So she felt like this masculine did not have any other options or didn't have any other choices but to come to her. But she's not sure. Like she, she's not sure if if something is true or not. She felt like she won a prize when she got this masculine. She felt very accomplished. Um, she feel like everybody gonna got to have something to say, but oh well. She feel like she won fair and square. I'm I'm here. I won that fair and square. Okay, fair and square. So it's like a game or something to her. I don't know. It's kind of weird. Her intuition is telling her that you're you're done competing, fighting for for this masculine. Like it's like she's like um, he's gonna be the one who's gonna regret the decision in the end when it all boils down. I 
I feel like she's also looking to see if this masculine is saying things, doing things, behaving, just to see if you're watching, to see if he could get a reaction out of you. She's keeping a close eye on the situation. Like, she's there, but she's, she's there. She's going through the motions of it, but she has her suspicions about this masculine. It could be a King of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn with this King of Pentacles here. But I see a lot of competition. But her intuition is telling her that you're done with that. Like, you had your time. You know, you had your time with him. It's over with. But, you know, she's willing to put in and fight for him. But her intuition telling her that you're tired. You know, you ain't putting in no effort. She was in the cut waiting for y'all to break up. Patiently waiting. I feel like she had a, a played a major part in you guys' breakup. We got the Magician and Three of Swords. So this is kind of like magic, okay? She could have been doing some spell work to break y'all up. Could have did a separation spell. Looked like she was waiting for results. Why's the Magician here? She could have broke y'all up because she wanted that life. Yep. She made him leave. Eight of Cups. She could have done some spell work. No lie. Yep. I really truly believe that some spell work was involved. We got Justice in the Tower. It fell apart. It fell apart. I'm here with revenge. It fell apart. But to her, she's trying to wonder if, like, if she's going to end up regretting it. I'm telling you, she did some spell work. She did some spell work, okay? For a lot of y'all, this person did uh, spell work. And this is to keep him coming back, okay? Boomerang energy to keep him coming back. Keep him coming back. Keep him coming back. Especially if your masculine is saying that he can't leave her alone. He don't know what it is. It's just something about her. She made it away. It came out of the blue. It hit. Okay. It hit. Why is this uh, hangman here? could be a Capricorn. We got the devil here. She's trying to find a way. Okay, she's kind of like wanting to put you on, on hold at a standstill. She feels like this masculine still is some way, shape, or form kind of stuck on you. I'm hearing you think it's funny. But something's on hold. But she's ho it's kind of like she's holding this masculine hostage. She wants you to see how something feels. Um, and she's even in this connection struggling. She's in this connection struggling, but she don't think that you know about it. As long as you don't know. So you can run back and, you know, get your chance again. She like, no. So she's basically kind of like holding this masculine hostage. Could be a Leo. With the strength card here. She's winning. Two of Pentacles and the Five of Pentacles. She's doing that to keep this masculine away from you. This this karmic right here, she did spell work. Because I see she kept seeing that this masculine was keeping, kept running back to you. It was evident that this masculine still had ties, still had connections to uh that connection she wanted to change his mind she wanted to change his mind because she was tired of being alone she was tired of him running around cheating on her okay sneaking around so she came up with a plan okay she's sitting there watching you sitting there spying on you she wants you to see how it feel she wants you to be the hurt one she wants you to swap for her energy. Yep, I'm hearing. She had to come up with a way to keep. She had to come up with a way to keep this masculine from over there. Four of Pentacles in the world. And this is the masculine. She had to find a way to keep that masculine from coming back to you. 
And it's like, yeah, we're going to see how hard. We're going to see how hard he go this time. Yeah. She wants you to regret that. Regret some type of decision. So her aim and her goal is to fully keep him away from you. Yep, temperance. She's taking her time with him. Getting him to open up. The relationship is a mess. But she's work she's she's like, look, we could work on everything. Every fuck up is so we could work on it. She don't want this masculine to say that he's single. It's like at this point in time it's pivotal. Because she don't want to be looked at like she got played. Okay, so she's saying thank again. If you see him anywhere, just know that she feels she feels like he's gonna run back to you. Any chance that he get, and you're gonna be there with open arms. And she tired of her friends coming up with all type of stories about about him. And it's like she's like, I don't care. I don't care. I'm keeping him from over there. So she's doing whatever she needs to do. She's going to go get some work done. She's going to get readings. She's doing whatever she needs to do to keep that mask going away from you. All right. Y'all let me know what's going on in the comment section below. I'm going to chat with y'all later.